my wrist, count of this spin it, man at the coop, mine with no tennis, chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up y'all? Trey B did in the building. You know what time it is. So today we have a very special project. You know what I'm saying? My man Mugen Ray. Um brought his prelude up to MR dips, baby. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and wrap his uh I'm not sure what year this one is. I think it's a 96. 96 Honda Prelude. And um, he's got some goodies that he's going to put on. I'm going to show you in a second. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we inside, you know what I'm saying? I got a special guest with me, you know what I'm saying? My man, Mugen Ray, say it right. What up, what up? Mugen, right. <laughs> so, um, you know what I'm saying? Trying to decide what color he wanted. He was like, I don't want none of these joints. I need that special. So y'all gonna have to stay tuned and find out, but he got some goodies he wanna show you. See that? You know what I'm saying? This is a spare. Show him that, show him that over there too. You thought the, you thought his name was Mugen Ray for no reason? Nah, son. Mugen parts for days. Yeah. We're gonna show these parts a little love before we, you know what I'm saying, before we flex them. But is it, so I know obviously Mugen wing, Mugen bumper, is it, are these Mugen too? No, so the rear and the sides are actually Kaminari. Kaminari? Yeah, so the Kaminari kit, that you guys remember Cecilio's car? Had that. I thought he got it back. Nah, I didn't get it back. I thought he got. He said he bought it back. Nah, he was going to, and it didn't happen. The guy sold it to somebody else. Sheesh. Yeah, but that kit was on it. Also, um, it's on a man's car too. What's his name? Damn it, Colin. Slap me when you see me. Uh, but Colin's car has that kit too. Tomorrow with the black one. He's selling his too. I know, I don't want to hear it. You better not. All right, well, I'm just going to join the club. Mine's for sale. Uh, so OBO. Moving to sale. $1 OBO. Uh, no, nah, I'm just playing. So um, anyway, we're going to get right into it, man. We're going to um, prep the parts, get some time lapse action more than likely. So we still got to wash the car, pull it in, disassemble some stuff. Probably going to take the, the lights out and stuff. Normally, I don't do that much, but um, did you bring your extra lights? Or are you going to put those on later? The headlight. Later. Okay. Well, we're gonna take. We're gonna just basically break it down, tape it up, and get it ready. And um, I see y'all in the next clip. So pretty much aside from a quick little wipe down, I always do a final little wipe down. Um, I call it the boozy fade, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we got the uh, the Mugen parts. What you think, Luke? Yeah. You ready? I think I'm gonna yeah. feel it when you finish. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Right. But yeah, much uh, got everything ready to go. Uh, like I said, just needs a quick little wipe down, and yeah, I'll see y'all on the other side.
Thank you. So this is pretty much what the color looks like before the gloss coat. This color is called Rare Jade, and it's got a candy additive um, called watermelon uh, that you saw in the clip of me mixing it. But yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like matte, and in the next clip, you know what I'm saying? It's finna have that gloss heme on it. So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Safety first, got my mask, my suit, and all that. You know what I'm saying? I know a couple of y'all haven't really seen me. I never really uh, record spraying the gloss because um, it gets even more foggy than what you saw in the other clips. And you almost can't even see anything anyway. Plus, uh, I don't want the gloss on my phone. Um, it'll record on my phone now. But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip. You know what I'm saying? Hit it in the limit. I got some 